here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? RC9 Outdoors here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to shoot a bow. Alright, so chances are you're watching this video, you're either new to archery or you're looking on some way to get better, maybe looking for some tips or whatever. So uh, today I'm going to take you my take. I've never really had any formal training. It's all kind of been uh, self-taught. I uh, heard a few pointers here and there. So uh, I'm going to take you through the basics, okay? So it starts off with a good bow, all right? You don't have to spend a $1,000 bow, you know, $1,000 at your, at your local Cabela's or your local Gander Mountain or anything of, the, of that nature. You don't have to do it. Uh, this here I picked up for about maybe 400 bucks over at Cabela's and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. I mean, it's, it's, you hear the term, it's not the, uh, it's not the arrow, it's the Indian. Well, it's, it's pretty much it. You know, even a $200 revolver can do the same things as a six, $700 revolver. It's all what you make of it. So, I mean, first things first, you, uh, I like to go in, first thing I like to do, um, I like to take, I like to take the handle, as soon as I put it in, I tighten it nice and tight. So I like my, I like to have my th my my hand tightly on there. Uh, second, I mean, in, in case you haven't already noticed, I this is called a release. Um, it's it's a simple thirty dollar release. I think it does the trick wonderfully. Um, I have never had any complaints with it. So first things first. So first off, grab your arrow. Doesn't matter. I, I use a uh, an Easton carbon arrow. Uh, I love them. Uh, I've never had any problems with them with laser veins. I mean, they're they're a little much or they're a little a little pricey, but you know what? It all kind of comes in uh, together. So, um, I I mean, I can't. I have, I've absolutely had no problems with them. Um, so the first things first, you take the knock. This thing's called the knock, and uh, you're gonna slide it in to where this here, this little well knock really. Um, you're gonna put it right through your arrow rest. So you're going to put the arrow right through, okay, right through your arrow rest until you hear it click. It should click, right, and this, and wherever your bow goes, this arrow should go, all right? So now, you take your, uh, take your release, slide it on this D-loop, okay? The D-loop, push it forward, that, that's not going anywhere, right? Very simple, okay? So, now the stance. Okay, so now you're ready to go and, you're, and you have the stance. All right, so I like to straddle the line a little bit, a little more than shoulder width apart. I like to bend my knees a little bit. Uh, it's a habit just because of baseball, but you know what? It's providing me a good solid foundation. I'm on the balls of my feet too, and uh, that, that's, that's the stance. It's really not too, really not too difficult. I keep my, keep my shoulders square, okay? Everything's square. Everything is pointing towards my target. I want my arrow and my shoulders to be parallel with one another. All right, I want facing my target. All right, so now when you got a good solid base and everything's hooked up nicely, here's where it comes to draw. Now, keep your fingers and your hands or your hand away from, away from the release. This thing is very, very sensitive, okay? So you don't want to be pulling it back and all of a sudden have your hand brush this trigger and your arrow is at a target where you have no idea of, uh, of or you had no idea, or sorry, you had no intentions of shooting, so. That's, trust me, we've, uh, I've had some friends do that and that arrow went flying, thankfully. Uh, of course, I always made sure of my surroundings and nothing or no one was in the way. We were in a wide open field, so it was good. But, so the draw, I'm keeping my hands fully away. Here, now the draw, I'm pulling, right? I pull. Good exercise for this is a dumbbell row, okay? So as now, I, I, I lock, I lock to a place where you feel it in your jaw right here. This kind of it's a little connection piece. That's it right here. You can find you can fit your knuckle right in there. Now, as soon as I get back there, okay, I like to put my thumb on my on my neck. Okay? Keep my thumb on my neck. So it looks like this, right? So I keep my thumb on my neck. What it's doing, it's taking the pressure off the bow. It's taking the pressure off the bow. And divide, diverting it into my thumb, into my neck, creating a solid anchor point, and it's all together. At the same time, my hand is going to be wide open. Okay, it's going to be wide open like this, and that bow is simply just resting in it. So it's going to be right here. All right? You don't want to create any torque. For those of you who have shot it, who have shot a gun before, if you have too much torque, 
your bullet is going to go off center. It's going to go off your target, which is not what we want to do at, at all. So um, that's that's kind of where we stay away up our target. Okay. There's going to be a this, hopefully you, you should have a little peep sight. This little, I call it a little black Cheerio because that's kind of what it looks like. The little black Cheerio, all right, is going to turn and that's where, that's what we look through. We line, we then look through that little Cheerio, right, keeping a solid anchor point. We look at it, we're lining it up and we're going to put our dot, okay, we're going to put our dot here, our sight, right on that ball or right on that target. So. Now with our sight, we come up, and as we draw back, we then come down, okay? We come down, and we set our sights. Now, bre now breathing is kind of what, what makes the shot, all right? When I pull back that bow, when I pull it back, I think of the same breathe or breathing pattern that I do when I, when I shoot a gun, okay? Inhale exhale and at the very bottom of my exhale I make that shot that is where um, as a shooter you are most calm and the least likely to make a mistake everything at that point is relaxed there is nothing more that you can really do that can really steady yourself okay so now the, now the release okay after everything's loaded up right our release is together breathing's collected our hands are on tight and my fingers locked, right? I'm looking through the Cheerio, right? I am then, I am then going to slowly adjust my sights right on my target, keeping a steady hand right on there. You can shoot with one eyes or two. I prefer one, right? I mean, when you start getting good, you can really do the two, but you should be able to keep this back all day. A good exercise for this is dumbbell rows, that kind of thing. Strengthen your back, okay? So, so now, so now, as I'm pulling it back, I'm slowly going to let my finger rest right on that trigger until, bam, it catches me right on, right, catches me surprise. You want that shot to be surprised. Slowly do that trigger and let it, just let it surprise you, all right? That shot just gone. That arrow's gone, all right? So now, when you follow all these tips, hopefully you guys should be a better shooter, and, um, Thanks for coming out today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe, please please like, please comment, please share. Um, we now have RC9 Outdoor shirts. I'm gonna put the, uh, the address in the, in the box below, uh, the guy's email who does these shirts, so please feel free to email him. He'll gladly send out the shirts for you guys uh, with the prices and everything else. So uh, feel free, so click here. For my latest video, um, click there for some explosions, and we have all kinds of fun on this channel, so please click here right, right on this logo, and it'll take you to my main page. But like I said, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed my videos, and I hope you guys really did learn something tonight. So, thank you.